Hello, thanks for taking some time to learn how to work with interactive housing analytics. This tool is made to empower real estate pros to quickly learn about and share local housing data. Let's hit the basics. Start at the area tab. You can compare up to four geographies for study. You can type an area, scroll through the list of available areas, or search by one of the geographic filters. We'll start with one area. Housing variables are located just below areas. All is the default, but let's choose a few specific ones. Note how the chart below the variables adjusts with each choice. You can select one of the options or combine multiple options into a single category. Variable categories can also be separated with the split arrow breakout icon next to each variable name. When split, the chart displays variable segments individually, not combined, which is a nice way to compare differences side by side. No more than six categories can appear on a chart. Chart elements can be toggled on and off from the chart's legend. Chart rescaling is automated. Some variables have automatically calculated ranges. Select Custom to create unique ranges for applicable variables. Areas and variables work with metrics. Only one metric can be selected at a time. Some metrics allow you to toggle between median and average values. For descriptions of each metric, please see the tool's user manual. Let's look closer at the chart. Data labels are visible when points in the chart are selected. To the right of the chart are quick facts for the most recent value and year-over-year -year change for the criteria selected in a collapsible view. The chart's y-axis is derived from the metric. The x-axis is time. Below the chart's x-axis, areas and variable filters are displayed. Chart data can be displayed in multiple formats. For bar charts, the maximum allowable years for historical comparison is 3. Data labels are always visible for bar charts. Let's define our time frame and time calculation. The time frame is simply the amount of time you want to look at, with max being as far back as reliable data exists. For time calculation, you can select monthly or rolling values. Rolling values represent that amount of activity at each data point, so the selected month's total and the 11 months prior. Rolling values are good for smoother trend lines and small sample sizes. Select the print icon to create a printable PDF. Select the share icon for more intriguing options. Start by choosing live or static data. Live charts are exciting because data remains current whenever the chart is accessed upon link refresh. Static charts remain unchanged from the moment they are created. Data is updated once per day, and a new month's worth of data is released on or near the first of the month, depending on the rules governing your tool as noted in the user manual. Choose a sharing option. PDF creates a one-page printable document. Social media and email provides a URL that you can email or share. Embed provides a widget available in multiple formats that can be integrated into a blog or website. CSV provides the chart's raw data in a spreadsheet-ready table. The Start Over button restarts the share dialog without clearing your data. A shared page of live data using social media and email displays a URL that can be viewed in a new window. Again, values on the chart change over time in a live data view. Your profile info appears at the top along with the provider of the service. Share the chart by copying and pasting the URL into an email or social media tool, or use the internal share options. From this chart view, you can also view and share as other options without going back to the share dialog like PDF, PNG, and CSV. Let's go deeper into the power of this tool. Add two more area tabs. The tool defaults to multi-tab filtering, meaning all areas display the same variables as the active area tab. If you choose a unique set of variables for one area, the chart will apply that variable to all three areas. If you choose a different area tab, you can select an entirely different set of variables, but whatever you choose will still apply to all three areas. Go back to the first area and note how our original choices were maintained. Now let's unselect the multi-tab filtering icon to analyze areas using different variables for each. Look at how each tab is described differently below the x-axis. To create your own area, select My Areas. You can draw a polygon, or create a circle. Once you're satisfied with your drawing, save it. Give it a moment to think, then select See Stats to go back into the tool. 
Your area is now saved. For further answers about this unique interactive real estate analytics tool, please check the user manual. That about covers it. Happy researching!